Welcome everybody. BASF has been constantly pushing the limits of its product portfolio to new heights and today we're going to talk about a new Ultramid PA product and I'm going to talk about it together with Andreas Stockheim from BASF's Performance Materials Division. Hi Andreas. Hi Richard. Tell me a little bit more about this new Ultramid product. What was the market demand, the requirement from our customers? Well, thank you for the question, Richard. Um, th it's a good question because uh, this is a PA6 GF30, mm -hmm. which is the most used PA6 in the market. And the question is good, why we need another one? Mm -hmm. exactly. And um, it's because of the market demand. Mm -hmm. uh, for future powertrains and also for other components, we still see increasing demands on the technical requirements on the PA6 GF30. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, we see additional requirements mm -hmm. upcoming. Mm -hmm. And to fulfill this market need, and for our customers, we developed the new PA6 GF30, so-called mm -hmm. P3 PG6. Okay, so what, what are the existing demands and what was that new demand that you talked about? Um, well, when we start the development, and that was mainly for an A-Intake manifold, we mm -hmm. have been asked from our customers for increasing demands like burst pressure, mm -hmm. heat temperature resistance, long-term heat performance, mm -hmm. weld line strength, and so on. Mm -hmm. But we also see the additional demand that these components are in electronic environment okay. and therefore there is a new stabilization required. Okay, so um, what's the secret of this new stabilization? What did you tweak in the formulation to achieve this? We need the stabilization to fulfill mainly the temperature requirements mm -hmm. because one customer re uh, requirement was to achieve higher temperatures. And so we recognize that we, knew, we, that we need a new stabilizer system for that mm -hmm. to reach these high temperatures. Mm -hmm. And another demand was coming up that the customers does not want iron and halogen in their stabilizer system anymore, mm -hmm. that that can be used in an electronic environment. So the challenge was to replace those two ingredients by something else, but still achieve a certain performance profile, I guess. Well, the ingredients you just <coughs> mentioned are mm. part of the stabilizer system. Okay. So what BSF has to do at that point is we develop a totally new mm -hmm. uh, stabilizer system. Mm -hmm. And what's the result? How does it uh, perform also in comparison to existing products on the market? Well, first of all, we achieved much higher temperatures as before, mm -hmm. yeah, so that the requirements on the heat, maximum heat temperature could be achieved. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, also the long-term heat performance is much better than current existing PA6 GF30 products on the market. Mm -hmm. tell, me, tell me again, I mean, you mentioned some of the areas of application that this product is supposed to go into. Um, tell me some more, what, what market or what application area are you targeting with this? Well, as mentioned at the beginning, the start of the development was mainly be considered for an air intake manifold. Mm -hmm. yeah? but by developing this new stabilizer system, we recognize that this will fulfill much more uh, requirements for the application which are currently used on the market. Mm -hmm. Especially when we look on the future powertrain, yeah. and it doesn't matter whether it's a conventional powertrain or an electric, uh, electric powertrain like hybrids mm -hmm. or uh, purely electrified cars. Mm -hmm. For all these different kind of application requirement, uh, the customer is asking for such kind of PA6 GF30. So it's, a, it's an important new building block in the Ultramid portfolio for, for powertrain applications. Exactly. Oh. Not only for powertrain, that mm -hmm. could be also achieved in the other industries. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there something else that is special about this new GF30 product? The speciality is, of course, the new stabilizer system mm -hmm. which is used here. So as I said before, there is no PS6 GF30 on the market nowadays who can achieve these high temperatures. And on the other hand, also fulfill the requirement need that is an halogen iron-free stabilizer system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So BASF has a really broad portfolio of ultramid types for automotive mm -hmm. uh, applications. And coming back to the question that we had in the beginning a little bit, do customers need all of them? How specific are the demands that we need so many, such, such a variety of products? It's an improvement of our portfolio. Mm -hmm. yeah? Of course, not all of the PA6 GF30 mm -hmm. products are often used, mm -hmm. but when most of the customers have, for example, silos, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. they produce not only one application in their mm -hmm. plant, they produce several kinds of applications. Mm -hmm. That might be a product which fits for different, all these different kinds of applications mm -hmm. that the customer can use this at one silo and can produce several applications out of it. Mm -hmm. So, Andreas, is this product already available for our customers? Is this commercialized? Uh, we are currently in launch phase, mm -hmm. so we have product samples uh, available. So we are ready to serve our customers with a new product and uh, happy to deliver the product. Fantastic. Open for business. Andreas, thank you very much for these insights. Thank you for attention. Exactly. And Andreas and a couple of other colleagues will still be available in the chat to take your questions, to discuss demands, requirements for the automotive applications of the future. Stay tuned. Thank you very much. BASF. We create chemistry.